the reason I wanted to join the children's panel was to make a difference to other people's lives. I heard about the children's panel on, on the radio. I'd look on the internet, find out a bit more. And I was encouraged from what I was reading to, to apply. I wanted to do something to help the children in our area. My children made me want to go and help other children because I needed to give something back because my children were being well looked after by society. I didn't know what to expect when I joined the panel so I was very open-minded about it which is probably just as well because there aren't really any two hearings that are the same. I think my expectations when I joined the children's panel was I knew that it was going to be difficult cases, I knew that we were going to have uh, awkward situations but I expected the training to be good, I expected the support mechanisms to be good and I also expected that we would have awkward times. My expectations of the children's panel are very much that I would be able to make a difference um, to and affect children's lives and, and make it better or improve the situation. The reality is that you can do that. I was aware that it was an alternative to a court system and was some way of helping children and young people, but I didn't know much more about it. When I joined the panel, um, I think it was seven weeks, about 40 hours worth of training, uh, which was compulsory and you couldn't miss any. Training's ongoing. Um, we are continually being assessed by the Children's Panel Advisory Committee. It's been very impressive. It's been a lot of hard work, very demanding. Um, but I've enjoyed it. The commitment is uh, quite intense, as indeed is the, the preparation work. The paperwork comes out for hearings generally six days in advance. That's sent out from the, uh, the reporter's office. Uh, the commitment is twice a month. It can be more depending on your availability, but it's always flexible because uh, we're conscious of the fact people have professional lives outside the panel. I think the preparation commitment involved is, is quite a big commitment. I think if anyone's going to get a children's panel, it's definitely something we've got to take serious. You would usually get a package of papers, so you would get uh, whatever papers are required for each hearing, um, with a covering sheet describing what's in it. I sit on the panel roughly two hearings a month, and you can see up to three or four families per hearing, per session. Currently it's around about two sessions a month, but some months it can be as many as four. It's up twice now. Um, once was a sort of normal hearing and the other time was an emergency hearing where they were after people for short notice. The majority of cases just now unfortunately are neglect and substance abusing parents uh, which means that children are in need of care rather than coming to the panel for offending reasons. The cases are wide and varied but over the years uh, more and more child protection cases. The cases that um, we're normally involved in could range from anything where the child's offending um, you know could be possibly running away from home um, or it could be that the child's been offended against whereas you know it's the parents that aren't capable or aren't willing to look after the children. You could have a school refuser, you could have a child who's been abused. It, it spans the whole spectrum. I'm fortunate that my employer is very supportive. We benefit very much from my experience with the panel. I've been with my uh, present employer for about 13 years and uh, they're an English-based company. They weren't um, aware of the children's panels uh, in Scotland because it's unique to Scotland, but they've been very, very supportive because like most companies, they realise and understand that the training is so good that the panel members bring it back to the workplace. My employer fully supports me volunteering for the panel. They'll give me the time to sit down and prepare for my hearings. And my family obviously fully support me. Other panel members give you great and excellent support, especially when you're new. It can be quite daunting when you come onto the children's panel, but you find it's like one big team. I think the challenges faced by a panel member in today's uh, terms is getting it right for every child. It's a question of listening to what's being said, understanding the problem and uh, making an informed decision. Yeah, the effect of uh, the parents and the children have on you during the hearing and taking that back, back home with you and, and trying to absorb and deal with that, uh, I've found so far is probably the biggest challenge I've had to face. I think the most important thing about being a panel member is being non-judgmental. Firm, but fear. Preparation. Hearing. The ability to communicate clearly. Working as part of a team. The ability to make a decision. Observation, looking at body language. I think the best skill that a panel member can have is to remember what it's like to be a young person. I have achieved a greater understanding of young people in society today. I listen more, which maybe before I could be criticised for not listening. Definitely. We're becoming a better parent for my own children. I do believe in what the panel system is doing. Uh, I believe in the principles it's based on. I think we have been able to work towards quite positive outcomes. People ask me, are you still on the panel? Are you enjoying it? Uh, I usually say, 
yes and, and go into some detail such, such that they asked me to stop. <laughs> well, I continue to serve in the children's panel uh, despite the fact I've been doing the job for over 13 years. I still believe passionately in it. I think the system works and uh, that's why I continue to do it. I continue to serve on the children's panel um, because I know that I'm making a difference to the children. You have to be totally committed to this or you shouldn't be doing it at all. And I keep going because I think that I am totally committed. I would recommend for anybody that's interested, go and find out more about it and, and trust the selection process. In the end, it is you that they want. They want a diverse range of individuals and you may well be what they're looking for. I would continue to serve on the children's panel because I feel I can make a difference. And as long as I feel I'm making a difference to other people's lives, I'll continue to do it. I would definitely recommend it. It's difficult, but it's well worth it. It's rewarding.